What's up, One Coalition? I hope everybody having a blessed day. First and foremost, I want to give a shout out to the brother, Bob Cosmic. You know what I'm saying? One of my subscribers. Yo, salute to you. He um put some information in my ear, put a bug in my ear about this channel called the Unapologetic Negro Peen. And so I went and I subscribed and I've been watching the brother's video, the brother real deep. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot of stuff going on. So I watched this video on how Russian billionaires are moving their money in yachts to West Africa, specifically Sierra Leone and Liberia. So I was sitting back and I said, you know what? It's weird because the president of Liberia just a couple, maybe a month ago, had put something out there saying that he wants to change the constitution to make it um, available, make citizenship available to the foreigners like Lebanese and Chinese and stuff like that. So now it makes sense when I seen this video right here, it like dawned a light on me. This, this move could be a gift or a curse, but I'm leaning towards a curse because I know how the Europeans treat us, you know what I'm saying? So they can take their money and wealth over there, build, build infrastructure and stuff like that and pretty much do like an apartheid and separate our people, you know what I'm saying? But I want y'all, I want to see y'all input. Y'all watch this video in the entirety, you know what I'm saying? So my shit can get in the algorithm so we can get there. Let's go. Why are Russian billionaires attracted to the West African coast? Well, there are a few reasons, listen up. Reason number one is the African continent's support of Russia. Pretty much every African country has been supportive of Russia and their actions in the Ukraine for obvious reasons. I've made a few videos about the way Africans who were living and working and studying in Ukraine, who were trying to get out, how they were mistreated by the Ukrainian authorities. And thus, many African countries support Russia and their ongoing action against Ukraine. So when Russians come to Africa, they know they have people there who support them, who will help them any way they legally can. Reason number two, and this is the most important reason, Liberia is a country which is very special. It's special because it gives very special tax incentives to those people who register their big ocean-going ships in that country. This is the reason why on many, many ships, even if they aren't owned by Liberians or by any Liberian company, those big companies from China, from South America, Panama, these places, these companies will always register their ships in Liberia. Now, of course, this is brilliant for those people who own huge yachts. So let's talk about the first person who has now bucked the trend and has moved to Liberia. His name is Andrei Milnachenko. Andrei Milnachenko is a 50-year-old Russian billionaire who moved to Liberia only a few weeks ago. So he has now got Liberian citizenship. The reason why he's got Liberian citizenship, mainly it's because he wants a place, a safe haven for him to bring his yachts to, a place where he can now re-register his yachts. You see, there are a lot of Russian billionaires who are moving their yachts over to Turkey, but it's difficult for them to register their yachts as being Turkish because they're Russian billionaires. I'm gonna stop it right there. Um... So with the, all of the stuff going on between Russia and Ukraine, you know what I'm saying? They know that they can't move around like that because they know the United States government is back in Ukraine. So um, they putting sanctions on Russia and all that. So they have, they're forced to um, move their money elsewhere. And why not Africa, full of natural resources and all of that. So here's a snippet of George Weir. Like, like this is what he did. He, he freed up about to change the constitution. Now I wanted to get everybody's input on this. I wanted to know, how do y'all feel about this? Do you feel like it's colonization all over again? Or do you feel like it's something that's been going on? Now, it could be a gift and a curse. They can go in there, they can um, start building infrastructures and stuff like that and giving jobs to the native people, or they can go in there and be cutthroat again and it'd be like the slavery times all over again. And, and just like how it is in South Africa with apartheid and all of that stuff, it could be similar. I wanna know y'all input on that, you know? Um, Africa is the motherland. Africa is full of resources and full of wealth that we don't get as African people. Everybody comes and colonizes shit and takes it from us. So I want to know y'all input on that. And, um, you know, stay tuned, man. Want Coalition. Y'all have a good day.